Let's learn how to create table space in Oracle database. So following parameters are important to consider prior to creating table space. Size of the table space uh, you want to be, data file path where you want to create the data files and usually it has to be something where uh, there is a more free space available, name of the table space and data files. So it's a good idea to have some naming convention which includes uh, the name of the database, name of the table space, data file number that makes the data file unique. So let's say we are going to create a table space called as app underscore data. So and our database name is uh, ORCL. So we can have something like as create table space app underscore data, uh, data file. Uh, this is the path for the uh, data file and app underscore data underscore zero one dot dbf uh, size is 50 megabytes uh, you can also create data file uh, in gigabytes by giving the uh, by replacing m as g there are multiple uh, tables table space creation options auto extend on so creating a table space with auto extend on uh, you only need to monitor the free space in the uh, file system directory. So uh, that means uh, Oracle itself will take care of increasing the file size on its own. So uh, let's say there are two options while specifying the data file, big file uh, or a small file. So if it is a small file, uh, it's going to have a data file as large as 32 gigs. Max size. So uh, this is uh, this is the maximum size that the data file can grow. If you don't select big file, then as I said earlier, a small file can grow as big as only 32 gigs. So size, let's say you want to uh, have some initial size of the data file. You can also specify the same while creating the table space. Block size. So uh, you can also specify the block size uh, while creating the database. And let me tell you this, uh, one database, one Oracle database can have multiple uh, uh, block size or multiple table spaces having different block sizes. So uh, let's learn in this video uh, how to create a table space. Let me check where are my uh, data file is located. Here we go. specify the data file path here and uh, as we said earlier in the session let's follow the naming convention starting with the database name underscore uh, table space name and unique data file number which will identify the data file let's specify the size here Here we go. Our table space is created. Let's see the same example how we can do uh, with OEM. So let's log into the OEM. So right, uh, let's go to the option called a server table spaces. Let's create a table space, this time called as user underscore data. Uh, 
and you can see multiple options here uh, extend management which is by default by default local except system everything else goes local uh, then type of table space it's a permanent temporary or undo then what's the status going to be read write read only or offline So here you can specify if you want a big big file table space or if you don't select this is going to be small file. Let's add data file over here. And here we are going to see uh, multiple uh, options for the data file. So let's specify uh, our naming convention. Then we are going to specify the size as 50 MB let's uh, we're not going to reuse the existing file uh this this option has to be used with a lot of care uh, and we are going to select automatic extension we'll ask database to take care of the extending the data file let's extend with 10 megabytes every time when the data file gets full and right now this option is unlimited but as i told you earlier even if you specify the data file size unlimited being small file it's not going to exceed more than 32 gig let's click continue and you can see the script also so this is the script for creating uh, a small file table space return okay and it's creating the table space right now here we go so our table space is created successfully and right now as you can see uh, app underscore data is one of the table space which we created recently and there is another called as user underscore data